folks, welcome back to my channel. This week I am drawing an artichoke with kind of a top-down or head-on perspective. And I love artichokes, they're probably my favorite vegetables, so um, I've been really looking forward to this drawing and had a lot of fun with it. And another reason I was looking forward to it is because this piece is October's patron-initiated illustration, which means that my patrons over on Patreon um, voted on the theme, voted on the subject for this illustration, and they're going to be getting access to a slower version of the video, and they'll also be receiving mini prints of this illustration, uh, signed mini prints of this illustration next week. As you can see, I have started off as usual with my watercolor pencils and have blended it out, blended out that first layer with water. And after that's had a chance to dry, I'm going in with Prismacolor soft pour pencils and just kind of working my way across the illustration going from the uh, darkest points to the lighter points, which is a little bit different for me because usually I work mid-tones first and then do the shadows and then after that do the highlights. But because the shadows were so clearly defined and kind of dramatic in this subject, I decided to go ahead and do the shadows first to help me keep track of some of the anatomy and just keep everything, um, keep everything in place and keep it clear as I moved along the illustration. I'm working mostly in warmer tones, kind of warmer greens in the highlighted areas and then trying to work in the cooler greens in the shadow areas. And if you notice back at the beginning with the watercolor pencils, I also started off the shadows with kind of a purpley color and I did that because I knew that there was going to be a lot of yellow in the highlighted areas. So I really wanted to create some vibration and liveliness in using the complementary colors in the shadows and the highlights. Now that I've got the first layer down, first layer of the softcore colored pencils down, I am going over the top and blending it out a bit with Gamsol, which is an odorless mineral spirit. After the Gamsol has dried and all that pigment is kind of set back in place and isn't going to smudge around anymore, I can go over the top again with another layer of the Prismacolor softcore pencils. And at this point, the illustration is nearly done, so I'm basically just adding more details, deepening the shadows, lightening the highlights, that sort of thing. Okay, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this illustration and enjoyed seeing this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!